welcome to ELPA's 2020 graduation ceremony. I am Jolando Jackson, serving as the department chair. This is perhaps the most difficult semester in ELPA's history due to COVID-2019. I'm happy to report after a full wellness check of all of our students, ELPA stands strong. Faculty took their courses online in less than two weeks. Our students adjusted to this new normal quickly. Best I can tell, learning in the classroom remains a high quality experience. To get to the finish line, this year's graduates had to show resilience. In turn, the faculty and staff had to as well to ensure that the most important event of the year still happened, albeit virtually. We have an amazing program lined up for you today. After a presentation of the faculty, we will acknowledge the ELPA graduates. The student group leads will present awards and special awards will be presented by me as well. Before we move on in the program, I want to thank staff in the administrative unit that makes the department run smoothly. Barb Whippethorpe, Jenny Ferry, Jessica Jow, Jim Van Nance, and last and certainly not least, Sherry Smith. Next, I will present my colleagues on the ELPA faculty. Brian Burt, Clifton Conrad, Elton Cram, LaVar Charleston, John Diamond, Peter Goff, Rich Haverson, Nick Hillman, Carolyn Kelly, Bruce King, Weija Lee, Julie Mead, Molly McQuillan, Peter Miller, Tina Salzman, Bob Schrammick, Julie Underwood, Shu Lee Wang, Rochelle Winkle Wagner. I also would like to thank the staff of the Wisconsin Center for the Advancement of Post Secondary Education, Noah Radowski and Carrie Dickinson for their service to the department. Hello, my ELPA community. First off, happy graduation and end of spring semester to all of you. And I hope you're all holding strong and positive during these trying times. I also wanted to take this brief yet special moment to honor the recipient of the ELPA Dissertation of the Year Award in the Higher Education Strand, Dr. Ning Sun. Ning defended her dissertation successfully in November 2020. Her dissertation was entitled, Is Active Learning 
a viable approach to community college students' success in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields of study. Ling's work fills a critical void in the literature by examining the mechanism under which active learning functions in connection to student success and across racial and gender identities. Her findings reviewed active learning as a potentially empowering and equitable approach to enacting instructional change, issues of critical concern facing STEM education for community college instructors, faculty members, practitioners, and policymakers. Having worked very closely with Ning, I was always amazed by how she approached the entire doctoral journey and her dissertation process with remarkable thoughtfulness, rigor, discipline, and honesty. As an inspired advisor, I'm forever grateful to have been a part of Ning's incredible journey. With so much joy and pride, I present this year's Dissertation of the Year Award in the Higher Education Strand to Dr. Ning Sun. I want to congratulate Carmen Bartley for her, her outstanding dissertation and her great years of work in the Educational Leadership and Policy Analysis Department at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I had the distinct pleasure of serving as Carmen's advisor um, for her, her dissertation and got to work with some of our other awesome faculty um, along the way working with uh, Carmen's dissertation. but. The reality is Carmen um, got it done herself. She was she was a great student. She was totally um, driven throughout the entire process and, and did a wonderful study. She learned about how a school could serve um, families and uh, students in, in the creative ways and providing for, for all of their um, needs, both academically and, and also making sure students' basic needs were met. Um, so I learned a lot from Carmen's work. She was she is a really smart, uh, driven, dedicated uh, scholar, and and I'm excited to see what Carmen will do next. Congratulations, Carmen! I think uh, what I admire most about Carmen is not necessarily her um, the 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 scholarship itself, but the heart that's at the center of the scholarship. She she genuinely cares about um, the work she did. She genuinely cared about. Um, making sure that families' needs are being met in, in better ways. And, and the way she conducted her research was really a model for, for all of us. So thank you, Carmen, for, for all that you've done and congratulations. What a wonderful accomplishment and a, a real privilege to work with you. Congratulations. Danny, congratulations. I'm so happy for you, so happy for your family. Uh, I'm just so excited uh, for your future. You've, uh, you've done such a great job in the program. From day one, you've really pushed yourself, you've learned, you've grown, you've been a great classmate, a great collaborator, co-author, uh, student to have in the classroom, and advisee, you name it. You have just, you've ticked all the boxes, uh, and I'm just so, so happy for you uh, in doing such a great job and making the absolute most of your program and your, your learning. And it's just very exciting to know what's next for you. And so don't forget about us here in Madison. You take care, congratulations. Greetings, Alpha colleagues and students and alumni. I miss seeing you in person and I'm so happy to get to greet you for a moment here. I want to take this time to congratulate Dr. Danny Corral on his well-deserved uh, award of the Alpa Dissertation Award for the Policy Strand. His dissertation was entitled Demographic and Policy Factors Shaping Hispanic Undocumented Student Outcomes three quantitative studies based on a large scale survey. His three paper dissertation used national data sets and advanced statistical modeling, such as differences in differences analysis to understand how policy influences undocumented students educational opportunities. Not only are the empirical findings of Danny's dissertation important for how we might think about policy and its effect on undocumented students' college access, but also the study offers important theoretical contributions in his use of frameworks like human ecology theory, legal liminality, and expansions of human capital theory. I want to congratulate you, Danny, on this theoretically and methodologically rigorous study. 
I cannot wait to see how Dr. Corral's work continues to develop as a tenure track assistant professor at the University of Toronto in the coming years. Huge congratulations to you, Danny, on this well-deserved honor and on your good work. As you well may know, the EPA Department's alter ego is the League of Extraordinary Educational Leaders. To be sure, every faculty member inducted into the League is extraordinary. But there are years I have to call on some superheroes more than others. This year, I have two who answered the call time after time after time, after time. These league members will be bestowed a special superhero utility belt as pictured here. The first to receive this award is Professor Richard Haverson. While running a major unit in the School of Education, teaching his classes, Along with all the other work of faculty, Professor Haverson answered the call to chair a faculty search that yielded two faculty, served on the committee that does annual reviews for all faculty, always there to make sure the department runs smoothly, and on the drop of a dime, took over under emergency basis instruction for a course mid-semester. Join me in recognizing Professor Haverson. The second to receive this award is Professor Julie Underwood. After 10 years as Dean of the School of Education, unlike most, Professor Underwood did not rest on her laurels. Instead, she showed up with her work boots, gloves, and hat. She took on the most difficult assignments in the department without question. She chaired our most active committee, the Human Resource Committee. In turn, she played a critical role in the five faculty searches we conducted over the past two years. She has worked tirelessly to make sure that our faculty are recognized for their work through award nominations for teaching, research, and service. She coordinated the education policy analysis and evaluation program for the department. She served on countless student committees. And in her first year back teaching. She wins the department's teaching award. All that is left to say is she rocks. Join me in recognizing Professor Underwood. This has been an amazing program. To the parents, families, and friends, thank you for the support you provided these graduates on this difficult journey. To the ELPA graduates, congratulations. You have taken on the challenge of becoming better educational leaders and educational researchers, and you won. You did so during difficult times, and you should be commended. On behalf of my colleagues, we view you all as the most important contributions we will make to our field. And thank you for allowing us to be a part of this journey with you. You are always welcomed home. Goodbye.